welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you how we can make an interactive chart from Excel data using Python, Pandas, and Plotly. Let's get started. Here in our Excel file, we have four different columns. We have a date column, sales, revenue, and profit. Let's say that we want to take this date column and make it the x-axis of our chart and a profit column as the y-axis. We'll open up a text editor and the first thing we need to do is to import the packages that we'll be using. So let's import Plotly and then we'll import Plotly dot graph objects as geo and then we'll import pandas as pd if you don't have plotly installed on your system already we can go through and install it very quickly just open up a command prompt or a terminal we'll say pip3 install plotly and then set this version equal to 4.0.0 i already have it installed but if you don't have it installed it'll download for you once you have these two packages we're good to proceed now let's go ahead and denote the file path for that Excel file. We'll say Excel file as a variable and then set it equal to the file path of your Excel file. Since mine is in the same directory, all I need to do is to copy that file name over. My file name for this one is product sales. So we'll say product sales.xlsx. Now we need to read this into a data frame. Let's say data frame is equal to pandas.read Excel and then pass in that file path. Now let's go ahead and print df to make sure it works. We'll drop back down to the terminal and say python3 and then the name of the file this time is salesgraph.py. When we execute we see that we return the data frame and we have no errors on the imports. Now to graph this data with Plotly we need to create a variable. We'll say data is equal to square brackets. We'll use that import of graph objects so we'll say go and then let's use a scatter plot for this example. So all we need to do is to type in scatter. We'll put parentheses, and now we need to pass in the x and y values that we want to use. For us, our x values will be equal to the data frame column that includes the date field. And then our y values, we'll scroll up a little on this data frame, will be this field, the profit field. We'll take this and copy it, and now we'll say data frame, square brackets, and then paste it in. Now that we have this made, all we need to do is to pass this to a figure. So let's say fig is equal to go dot figure and then we'll pass in data. Now to display it, we need to type in figure.show. Go down and execute again. And when the result loads, we see that we have an interactive plot in an HTML page. We're able to hover over each of the points on the graph and see the date and the actual revenue on that date. We're also able to zoom in and see specific areas of our graph. So if this was the only area of importance to us, we could zoom in and see more details. We don't have too many data points in this graph, but if you have a bunch, this could be super handy. And we also have a bunch of cool options in the top right corner. Let's go ahead and reset the axis with this button. We see that we can take a picture of our graph, we can zoom around like we've already done, and we can do things like compare data on hover. But right now, if you wanted to share this graph with someone else, you wouldn't be able to. That's because it's running on your local host. So let's go ahead and save this as an HTML file, that way we can share it with others. To save this file, we'll type in plotly, dot offline dot plot we'll pass in the figure that we want so the only one we have right now is this one figure and then we'll say file name is equal to sales report dot html i'll go ahead and comment this one out and now when we execute it shows us the same graph as we had before but we see that the location has changed instead of running on your local host now it's a file in the same directory that you were working in i was working on my desktop so let's go over to my desktop and see the file we see that we've created it here, sales report. We can double click to open this and it'll bring up the report. This would mean that we would be able to share this graph and maybe even host it to our own website if we wanted to automate the entire Excel reporting process. This is just the beginning of the cool graphs that we can make with Plotly. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let me know. I'll see you in the next video.